Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaik from Encouragement from the Word of God. God's Word is so faithful and powerful. Uh, these few days, our children have been sick, so I haven't done my devotional because the children were home. Today too, they're home and hopefully tomorrow they can all go back to school. Uh, it has been a cold and uh, cough that they've been having and uh, praise God they're getting better and my son, eldest son Jason has escaped it and I'm hoping that he will not catch it as well and uh, that they all three will be able to go to school tomorrow. I want to encourage you with the word of God. God's name is powerful. When you're going through a difficult time, when you're going through struggle, always remember the power that is in the name of Jesus. So in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, it says, For this reason also God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, and of those who is in heaven and on earth and under earth, there is power in the name of Jesus. Every knee will bow. The knee of sickness, the, the disease of, of poverty, of depression, of any diagnosis the doctors have given, the spirit of sickness have to bow down. The spirit of poverty has to bow down. There is a war going on with our spirit and with the evil spirit. And we know that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. We have authority in the name of Jesus. And there is power in the name of Jesus. And demons are subject to the name of Jesus. Demons are bowing down at the name of Jesus. So it says in um, Acts chapter 4, verse 12, Salvation is no one else, for there is no other name under the heaven among, me, among which men will be saved. Jesus says that he is the only way. There, are, there is no other name that can save you and me. Only Jesus, only the name of Jesus can you and I will be saved. And our Lord Jesus gives us instructions and tells us to obey and put on the full armor of God. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 to 13 it says, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For you do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. So you and I, we need to put on the armor of God. The armor of God protects us from the darts of the enemy. We can resist the enemy and the enemy will run away from us when we put the belt of truth, when we put the breastplate of righteousness, when we put the shoes of, uh, for your feet, that is the gospel of peace. And we have the shield of faith, and we would have the helmet of salvation. And when we have the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, and praying all times in the Spirit, God will protect us and alert us when the enemy strikes us. So you and I, we know that we are in a battleground and there'll be, the enemy will try to strike your family, will try to strike your children, will try to strike your relationships, will try to strike your finances, whatever that can be, the enemy will try to strike. We can call on the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every demon will flee because if there is power in the name of Jesus. So I want to encourage you today to trust in the Lord no matter what you're going through, no matter how difficult life might be. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the name of the power of the name of the Lord Jesus. You can win the battle. You can overcome. There is a victory banner over you and me today. I'm encouraged today with this word and I want to speak this word with you today. Whatever you might go through, remember the name of Jesus is above every other name. Especially this season of Christmas, we celebrate the Lord Jesus coming down as a baby, dying for you and me, 
and giving us authority to go into the whole world and preach the good news and tell others about Jesus Christ. So take every opportunity to speak about the Word of God, talk about the Word of God, tell others that there is power in the name of Jesus, that every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that He is Lord. I hope that this encouraged you as much as it encouraged me. Let's pray today. Father, we come to you. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are faithful, that even though we go through hardships, even though we go through sickness, poverty, distress, Lord, we thank you that you are powerful and your, your victory banner is over us, that you will help us to overcome this sickness with the name of Jesus, that you will be able to help us to be set free be whole and healthy and strong. Lord, I pray that you cover us, cover our children, cover our loved ones, cover my brother and sister today. Strengthen us with your word. Renew us today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. I love this song called Believe For It. If you want to sing that with me, it's called Believe For It. <clears throat> they say this mountain can be moved. They say these chains will never break. But they don't know you like we do. There is power in your name. We've heard that there is no way through. We've heard the tide will never change. They haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. So much power in your name. Move the unmovable. Break the unbreakable. God, we believe. God, we believe for it. From the impossible, we'll see a miracle. God, we believe. God, we believe for it. We know that hope is never lost. For there is still an empty grave. God, we believe that no matter what, that there is power in your name. So much power in your name. Move the unmovable. Break the unbreakable. God, we believe. God, we believe for it. From the impossible, we'll see a miracle. God, we believe, God, we believe for it. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. We know that there is power in the name of Jesus, that every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that he is Lord. No enemy's plan or plot can come against you or your family because you are covered under the banner of the name of Jesus. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. Have a wonderful day, my brother and sister. Encourage one another today with the word of God that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. There is power in the name of Jesus. Encourage yourself today. Encourage your soul today in Jesus' name. Have a good day. Bye.